To get flow in the shot, it's really important to start connecting the different body parts and, and getting the body to actually work together in the shot. And when you speak to someone like, like an Ali Farag or a Raneem El Walili, they're very much linking what they're doing together with the shot and the body is helping. It's something that, that the England senior national coach, David Campion, talks about a lot as well. And it's, it's about how everything works together and softens to, to provide that feel and to allow the shot to be natural for it, for it to flow and work together. And what it does is because it creates a bit of a relaxedness in a very stable and balanced manner, it, it gives you the opportunity of being able to speed your racket up or slow it down and really have feel and control through, through your arm, your hand and, and your racket. Now, when, when I'm thinking about, about the movement and the stepping in and using it, it's a case of, of really thinking through the knees and the hips in terms of, of softening down. So if I was to lunge in and lead with this, this leg, my right leg, I would then be starting to cushion down into, into the body slightly so that when I'm there hitting, I can start to unravel through my hips there and then also through my knees where my knees have softened down. And you can do it in different ways. So if I was using a back foot off my forehand, my knee bends, my hip drops in, my other knee bends, and I've softened into the shot. And what it allows me to do is, it, yes, it gives me a softness and a cushioning in the shot, which allows me to feel it, but it then also allows me to get my weight transfer and for everything to work together. So there I'm, I'm hopefully starting, and if it was on the back end, it's the same thing. If I drop my right leg, I soften in, and then it allows me to work together. So my hips working, my knees are working, and then it works with my shoulder as well. So you're almost going up to, you know, lower half to upper half, but then also from top to bottom as well. And everything functions together to help the shot work as well as it possibly can. And if I was to demo it just going into the front, it's, it's looking for that softness as, as I arrive and getting everything to connect and work together. So ball comes in, soften and play the shot and then just allow it just to cushion down. And it's the same on the backhand. Ball comes up, there, soften, play the shot, allow it to come back. <coughs> and, it, and as you start to develop that, it just helps to connect everything together and it, and it just gives that feel that you want through your body as you're hitting it. So it becomes slightly more effortless and, and not so energy sapping and not so tiring as it would be if it's all very disjointed and stop start. So hopefully start to practice just cushioning and softening. Ali Farag likes to call it the suspension in the shot. Get that happening and then see how it helps your game to flow and your shots to become more accurate.